Luxembourg. A small country, but a very spicy one, because it has North German and French accepted. Now, we do start out a vassal of the Netherlands, but that's pretty easy to get around, because we can immediately declare war. And then ally Prussia. Easy, really. Then, wait for the diplomat to return and we just call them in. Thank you. That's my one troop building. Good, 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 good. Yeah. I need the Prussians to kill, kill their army. <laughs> Yeah, I think they're about to do that. I need to go siege Amsterdam. Because I need war score. Because I do intend to add stuff. That's my strategy. Wait for the Prussians. The Prussians will add. Gelderland, they always do. Let me see that down. Oh, I don't have jingoism. I'll have jingoism. Oh, I have jingoism now. Literally a second after. I'm going to get Java because that's two million people. To cut military spending now, I don't need it anymore. Or at least I don't need it for the meantime. And there goes the war. Okay, but now I have Java. Java. That's the ploy. Colonial Luxembourg. And we're gonna go in on Japan. Okay, three quick notes. First of all, I am ordering a better mic. Second of all, uh, the next country has already been decided, but if you want to leave suggestions for countries, uh, just leave them in the comments. And third of all, like, general, if you just general feedback is great uh i felt like the last video was way too long but also that's the one that got like 800 views so i don't know back on to imperialism and gunboats it's the war with japan now i definitely don't keep fucking this up over and over again and having to revert to an older save And their navy is gone. Now. We do a little. Uh, a little trolling. We trap their entire army on this one fucking island. Easy be easy. Well, most of their army. Now we just have to siege them down before the United States uh, improves opinion with them. And we should be all good. Okay, there we go. Took two states, but about three million pops, including a gold province. For a while, I'm going to do some country building and uh, maybe eat up a couple of these little countries. But I'll do that off, off camera. So it's been a while. Not for you, but for me. I've conquered all of these shitty little countries and started carving a path back to Europe. 
going on, on Egypt for the Suez. Which obviously I can't build yet, but I'll need it eventually. And I can't have the Ottomans taking it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> we are now a great power. We are officially above, uh, Spain. So we're able to kick Japan out of the U.S. sphere. And now we can go in. This should be relatively easy. With my huge tech advantage. I'm also trying to kick the United States out of uh, Korea. So I can go in on them and then China. And then also Russia took this part of Korea, which I kind of wanted, but it's not a big deal. Plus, they shouldn't give China military access, which will make taking Korea even easier. Also, I'm taking care of Oman. There we go. Um... Uh... Pardon? I'm Germany now, I guess. Huh. Well, uh... This changes things. <laughs> um... <laughs> well, that's lucky, I guess, because... I, I don't know. I, I don't know why I didn't want North Germany, but I mean, I was a great power, and I was, I'm primary culture German, so pan-nationalists flipped to me, I guess, for, instead of, instead of North Germany. Uh-oh, I have an industry now? What is this? Well, I'll never have to worry about lack of jingoism ever again. This is actually great. Oh my god, this is so good. Holy shit. Oh, this is gonna be good. Why do I have Azakanazi accepted? Is that rebel form thing? There goes Oman. Need to start building more ports. More ports for more ships. 
more ships for more colonial points, so maybe I can colonize. But it's kind of a long shot. Go in on Korea. China will join, but that's fine because I have naval dominance. I'm gonna annex Korea, but I'll still be a war with China, which is fine. Because they'll eventually accept white peace. Okay, I'm going to be stuck in this war with China for a while. So I'm just going to... Uh, I'll end this clip here. And then we'll pick up... Uh, if I can colonize. When 1870 hits. So here's Africa. After colonization. Mostly. We got to break good chunk considering our situation block Dutch Piedmontian this is what Europe looks like right now I can actually uh, restore order on North Germany but we're not going to Europe quite yet still have unfinished business out here I had to eat the rest of Japan because it was about to westernize I had to do it to him but now we're gonna take our Luxembourg and samurai and we're going in on China. We have a... We have the tech advantage, so... But they do have, like... Precisely a bajillion brigade, so... Uh, we'll, we'll see how this, how this rolls. God, there's a lot of Chinese people. Done pretty good so far. Couple of easy bets. Oh god, the AI is responding. They're moving. Panic. God, there's 200, 300 brigades. Oh God, 400, 500. I have a good defense general. Who's a good defense general? Well, the Chinese refuse to attack me. Which means the only option is to go onto the offense myself. Not, oh my god, that's not a good casualty ratio. If you're the Chinese. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Bro, that's 7,000 casualties to 128,000 casualties. What on earth? Oh, 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 oh you're not getting off that easily. Sorry to do it to you, China. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. I don't even... I think I broke the sound somehow. 
That's how hard I kick their ass. Their allies are coming to help, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna I'm gonna take off of what I have. Which is a lot. Five ten two and a half. So it's like twelve and a half million pops. I just stole from China. It's time for another rumble of the Chinese. I forgot which state I wanted to take. Uh, another rumble. Bro, that cost me 40 war score. Fuck me. I use the Chinese troops to kill the Chinese. What a devilish plot. Oh, we've engaged. Ah, oh, the five attack! Oh, well, the fucking generals, I swear. And I pull... Five attack out as soon as I can. So now the free defense takes over. Okay, we're gonna have to collapse the line. Send them in. Turns out 500,000 Chinese people is a lot of Chinese people. Got 13,000 casualties. Yeah, I'm just gonna sweep around this 90k stack like a rolling ball of destruction. Try and just kill as many armies as I can instead of holding a front line. They are 100% war exhaustion. China's westernized. Which means I'm giving up on annexing them because I just I can't be fucking bothered instead I've moved all the troops back to Germany but I have to fight the Austrians over Württemberg but it should be pretty easy because I can call basically everyone in Pretty much a cakewalk. There goes a fleet. There we go. But that's not so hard. Okay. Now's the part where I try and hold off against France, Russia, and Austria at the same time.
They're already attacking me in the mountains. Fans doing nothing. Another mountain battle. Jesus, I have 300,000 troops in this battle. Holy oh, shit, I have to encircle- I have to at least attempt to encircle that. Okay, I'm following up on the first mountain battle. successfully surrounded the Austrians and now we just have to hold out for long enough for the battle to be won. Commander's dead. Okay. I can deal with that. Uh... Oh yeah, new defense generals in. Okay, the Russians just plug walk through my line. Very cool of them, very cool. God. Thank you. French are making an attack in Luxembourg. To reinforce that. Oh wait. Oh, did it die? Oh, it died. I feel a lot better about this. This war. calling the United States in. And this becomes a great war. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I can add chates, chates, the states for the cheap. I definitely want Tyrol for the mountain passes. Here's my proper invasion of France, now that they've killed all of their troops. <laughs> the United States! Oh shit, the D-Day is happening! I can't believe they actually brought troops over. <laughs> <laughs> this 
this is what Germany was always meant to look like. And you're too much of a coward to admit it. <laughs> I have a port. On the mainland. It's beautiful. Okay, we're invading Switzerland. In order... Because I know they're all, uh... That will force Germany to get called in. And then that means I can fight the Germans. We'll use this map mode to see where they're mobilizing. Hopefully I can just fuck them too fast before they can... They can stop me. Being outrolled. But it's fine because I have gas attack. Following up. Kinda. On some of them, at least. Now they only have 80 brigades. Why are th Oh, the Swiss, the Swiss have gas attack and gas defense. What? Oh my God, they're destroying me. Holy shit. Who knew that Swiss would be the hard part of this war? There we go. Uh, I connected my country. Took some good stuff and took up here for another port. We can't start a great war against France. Because they have no allies. They're also communist and uh, being occupied by rebels constantly. Also, I finally have enough colonial points to finish colonizing these bits of Africa, so that will be nice. Okay, so the, uh, the Germans didn't join, the, the, the Germans did not join, which means that this cannot become a great war, sadly. Just be a regular war. There's a naval battle. Yeah, it's going poorly for the Italians. And that's a clean sweep. Did I ever get gas attack? Nope, I mean gas defense, no. What a splendid little war. United Kingdom is the last country that can put up a fight against a Luxembourg menace. So we're going to end that. Yep, it comes a great war. They called it in Russia, I called it in the United States. Not super concerned about Russia.
I can force peace the British out. <laughs> to German India, Illegal Land, Ireland and Scotland, and Jamaica. Wait, do the Russians have gas defense? No! Okay, some might say I went a little overboard on the peace deal against the Russians, but, I mean, there's a lot of Ozakanazi pops over here, and those are my accepted pops, along with German and French, so really I'm just taking what's rightfully mine. Oh yeah, I'm release a couple of countries though Ireland Scotland United Kingdom looking a little less united than I remember it just quickly beating the shit out of Austria Well, that was easy. Don't mind me, I have a small rebel problem. <sighs> also, my country is like, uh... It's like very fascist. I, I don't know if that's because I have a lot of jingoism, or... If that's, you know, it's just German things. I have no idea. But, you know, I figured... Might as well embrace it by uh, invading France. There we go. Italy may end up being even even easier than France. And if that doesn't sum up their military history, I, I don't know what does, besides even worse than France. Easy peasy. So as you see, I beat up my neighbors a couple more times, took some more shit. But there's, there's not really much left to do in this campaign, honestly. Uh, besides, you know, kill the other Germany. Which will be the, the last act. Thank you, Denmark. 
Goodbye, Germany. And hello, Big Germany. This is a pretty large Germany, I'll admit. Uh, and that's not including all of the Asian stuff. But really, mostly, it's just my accepted pop. You know, there's Germans all over here, just mixed about. There's Ashkenazis over here. Of course, I French accepted because I'm Luxembourg. <laughs> Germany with French accepted. What a cursed world. Next game, I'm going to do Ukraine, you know, for the memes. <laughs>